everybody, this is Dr. Sherry Tall back again. We are going to work on the dissection of the sheep kidney today. So first of all, we'll start with a picture just to look at some of the parts that we'll be looking at in the kidney today. This picture here is the outside of the sheep kidney. Um, it is covered in a fibrous capsule that we'll be looking at on the cadaver. Um, this area is the hilar region. The hilar region usually contains a little fat pad, and we also have the artery and the vein that go into and leave the kidney to get the blood supply in there, and then the ureter that collects the urine to take it on down to the urinary bladder. On the inside of the kidney, we will actually just be cutting the kidney in half and looking at it. We have an outer cortex area that runs all along the outer part of the kidney. The inner area is called the medulla. We'll be looking at the renal pelvis, which is the area that uh, starts to collect the urine droplets and as they pull in there, then they will drip down the ureter to the urinary bladder. A uh, little bit harder to see, but we'll be also able to de determine where the renal artery and veins are that come in that supply, the blood supply to the kidney. Um, there are the calluses. We may be able to see a little bit of them and possibly some of the um, renal pyramids and be able to see on our uh, cadaver sample also. So we'll come over here. This is a, a pair of kidneys from the sheep. This is an intact one. Um, you can see here they're kind of kidney bean shaped. Like that's probably where the name kidney bean came from because they're shaped kind of like the kidneys. And this, ha this was kind of a chunky little sheep. He's got a lot of fat around here. Let's pull some of that back so we can see this is the hilar region in here. And the hilar region is just, again, the area where the renal artery goes into the kidney, the renal vein leaves, and also this long tube here is the ureter coming out of there, which actually transports the urine into the urinary bladder. So that is about what you can see. Um, the only other thing, this one's kind of got a thin one, but we have the uh, fibrous capsule around the kidney, and that is this tough air, this tough air, uh, car, uh, capsule that we see going around it. Um, on the one that I've opened up, I think you can probably see the capsule a little bit better here where I pull a little bit away. You can see kind of what a thick capsule there is around the kidney here. On the section that we have cut in half, you can sort of see this little fanned out area all the way around the kidney. That is our cortex area, the renal cortex. There's a little bit in a difference in how it looks when you come to this area around here. You can see this through here. All of this is the renal medulla. It is the medulla area of the kidney. This area right here where it kind of has a creamy color, this starts to uh, run into our renal pelvis. And then... Um, Leaving the renal pelvis is our artery, our vein, and our ureter that transports the urine out. So just to go into a little more detail of what we are looking at here, um, let's start here. We've seen the fibrous capsule. And to start from the outside, we'll look here first of all at the, uh, the cortex. The cortex is the area that has a lot of arteries and veins in it. It's a very vascular area of the kidney. The main purpose of the arteries and the veins is to carry the blood into the kidney to get filtered out and cleaned out. The kidney is in our part of our excretory system. It cleans waste out of the sheep. Its main job is to filter out the blood 
and to produce urine, which helps get rid of the waste that has built up inside the body of the sheep. So again, the renal cortex contains many, many arteries and veins. They carry the blood supply to the nephrons, which you almost need a microscope to see those in this area. And they will be filtered out, filter out the blood, filter out the garbage and the waste, and clean the blood for the sheep. The next part here is the renal medulla. The renal medulla is where we start to get collecting ducts forming in here. Um, this one's a little bit hard to see, but we have um, here little renal pyramids that are starting to, to show up. And we also see the, the calluses through here. And this is are the kind of the collecting ducts for the urine that after it has been filtered out in the renal cortex, it starts to collect the waste in the urine that is developing into this section of the kidney. It uh, takes the, the urine as it forms and, and we see collecting ducts, big, bigger ducts forming in the renal pelvis here. And then after it collects in there, it sends it into the ureter, which actually transports the urine down into the urinary bladder. So again, the main function of the kidney is to filter out the blood and to produce urine or waste products to get rid of in the sheep. It's the part of the excretory system in the sheep. And these again are the main areas of the kidney. The cortex, medulla, and renal pelvis. And then in the hilar region, we have arteries and veins and our ureter to collect the urine. So this here is a basic dissection of the um, kidney in the sheep.